Hello my night wolves and welcome back to another video on my channel and today we're here with me creating some sims and I had the idea to make Winx the Winx Club. I used to watch this like like a long time ago when I was young. So I love all these characters but the thing is I do not remember much about the show sadly. I of course it was like back in 2004 the show came out and so I don't remember much of it but I do remember liking it. There are six of them. We're starting with Muse Musa? I think that's how you say her name. If I say any of these names wrong I'm so sorry but I started with her because the girl that w was came up for her was like like the perfect like she just screamed Musa. So I decided to make her first. Also I am going to be doing two outfits. One outfit they're gonna have like an outfit from the show and then I'm gonna have an outfit that I am going to be custom making for them that I feel like what I think they would wear. They are going to have wings. I know those are not their transformation outfits okay. I know that's not their transformation outfits. I just found random outfits that were from the show and I'm like perfect and then I really wanted to put wings on one of the outfits so I just did the ones from the show and added the wings but I know that when they transform they change into like a different outfit than what they're wearing so don't worry I know that's not the correct outfit for when they transform. Also, I do not have the right wings for them either. <laughs> Going back to Musa is a fairy of music. She hails from Melody and currently acts as its guardian fairy. Also, I didn't know what kind of last name to give everyone because they don't have last names. So I ended up making Musa's last name Melody because, you know, she's music, obviously. I don't know. So I did I just put down random last names for them based on their biography that I, what I read from them. Musa is the daughter of Matlin and Ho Hobo Hobie. I'm sorry, I don't know how to say that. And is the girlfriend of R Riven? Raven? It's kind of like Raven, but Riven. Kind of like a river. She and her boyfriend Riven have a rocky and difficult but passionate relationship. Musa is a skilled singer and musician. She is one of the founding members of the Winx Club, being the fifth Winx girl introduced after Bloom, Stella, Flora, and Technia, and is an alumni and student of the Alpha Althea College of Fairies. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Musa loves music, dancing, singing, and playing all instruments, but her favorite instrument is the concert flute. The first instrument she ever learned to play, Musa usually plays amazing music, but plays best when she is alone by herself in Alpha in a quiet spot. Despite being the most tomboyish of the Winks, she is perhaps the most emotional, vulnerable, and she balanced this by putting up a tough front. Surprisingly, Musa gets the best grades of the friends as mentioned in Honor Above All. Next fairy I'll be working on is Bloom. Princess Bloom. So because she's a princess, I did put a tiara on her first outfit that she will be wearing. And then the second outfit, I don't put the crown on. The, the second outfit is the outfit that I think she would wear. Princess Bloom is the fairy of the dragon flame. She is Prince Guy's fiance, the second prince of Domino? Dom? I, it looks like Domino, sorry. And it's guardian fairy. She is one of the founding members of the Winx Club, where she is recognized as the leader of their group, which also signifies signifies her status as the cultural protagonist of the Winx Club series as a whole. She is also an alumni and student of the Alpha, Alpha College of Fairies as of the Secret of the Lost Kingdom. Bloom starts off as an insecure girl at the beginning of the series because of her ignorance of her true origins and her strange, yet 
surprisingly potent powers. Later on, as she learns more about magic and herself, she grew increasingly curious about her past and whom her biological parents are. She has a tendency to run away when things get too hard or confusing for her and can also be impatient and stubborn. With a short temper, Bloom was also impulsive at times, which leads to some very bad experiences for both her and her friends, especially when she first met slash attacked Despero? <laughs> I'm sorry. Under the assumption she was one of the tricks with a lack of evidence. Next after Bloom is Asha. Crown Princess Asha is the fairy of wave. She is the crown princess of Andor Andoras? Andoros? Andoras as well as its guardian fairy. Asha joins the Wings Club as its sixth member in the second season and she is an alumni student of the Elphia College for fairies. Again, sorry if I say their names wrong. Asha is a intuitive as Stella and when asked to gives pra practical and programmatic advice. She is also a talented dancer and speaks many languages. She is strongly against romantic and Tinglements with boys as seen in episode 18 of the third season. So I made her non-committal, but obviously that could change later on. But I made her non-committal due to that she doesn't like romantic entanglements with boys. Next up is Flora. Flora is one of the founding members of the Winx Club, being the third Winx girl introduced after Bloom and Stella and is an alumni student of Alpha College. Flora is sweet, shy, genuine, calm, and loves any plants of all kinds. She likes to experiment on them and enjoys making tea. Flora is strongly connected to nature and loves helping people. She can be very sensitive and always wants the best for her friends and everyone around. Flora is the most mature member of the Wings Club. Crown Princess Stella is the fairy of the sun and moon or the fairy of the shining sun. She is a creative skilled artist who is Brandon's fiance. Stella is Solar's guardian fairy as well as the soul hairs to the Solaring royal throne signified by her status as keeper of the royal family ring. Although Stella is usually a proud and self-centered girl, she also cares deeply about her friends and family, not just herself. She will stick to the people she loves and do anything to keep them safe. Stella is not always seen wearing a smile on her face, but she does crack jokes to cheer her friends up when they are sad. Essentially, Stella has a cheerful and optimistic personality. And the last fairy I will be doing is Technia, is the fairy of technology. She hails from Zen Zenith and currently acts as its guardian fairy. Technia is Timmy's girlfriend. She is one of the founding members of the Wings Club, being the fourth Wings girl introduced after Bloom, Stella, and Flora, and is an alumni and student of the college as well. As shown in the series, Technia is extremely smart with an IQ of 150 and loves technology. Sometimes she gets engrossed in technology and her enthusiasm for sameness can be irritating. She is self-confident and a perfectionist. She is always practical and logical, sometimes to a fault. Technia has trouble expressing her emotions and bases the majority of her decision on pure logic, though in the second and third season she gets over that trouble and is more open and friendly towards her friends. She is selfless and nice to them. She truly cares about them even if she cannot always show it by using emotions. I did download an outfit for the last fairy 
But I thought I downloaded the full outfit, but I guess I didn't download the full outfit because the top was missing. So I forgot to download the top, so I went off and I downloaded it. And in the pictures at the end of the video, if you want to check those out, because there will be pictures at the end of the video, she will have the top on, but she won't have the top on while I'm creating her. But in the picture, she will have the top on that she's supposed to have. That is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and like how all the fairies came out. I really like them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Ring that bell if you want to see more videos from me. Subscribe if you want to. And I'll see all you beautiful night moves in the next video. Goodbye. Empty prayers Always someone to defeat